When you open a PC or an other electronic device, one of the first thing that you will see is one or more large metal objects called heat sinks. So as to why it is there is because modern electronics is complex and small, which in turn produces heat, a lot of heat. Heat that is left uncontrolled can reduce the lifespan or completely destroy the processor that created it. Inside a computer, a heat sink will be present on a CPU, motherboard, graphics card, inside a power supply, and sometimes on the RAM. They may look different, but they serve the same purpose. Reduce heat and extend lifespan. There are different types of heat sinks. The heat spreader consists of a large piece of metal. It just moderately improves performance. Next up is the passive thin heat sinks. These are basically heat spreaders with thin like structures on the top to increase the surface area of the heat sink. These help to dissipate heat much faster to the air around. They are much effective to heat spreaders, but they also cost more. Now the active fin heat sinks are the same as the passive fin heat sinks, but with a fan. It is relatively cost effective, space effective, and dramatically improves heat sinks performance. These are the reasons why these heat sinks find their way into PC systems. Lastly, the most effective and the most expensive heat sink is the heat pipe or vapor chamber heat sinks. These are used in CPUs and graphics cards. These move the heat away from the processor core and then the heat is dissipated into the surrounding air using the fins and the fans. Now these heat sinks, they depend on various factors. Surface area. Increase the surface area of your heat sink and you will definitely improve your heat sink's performance. The metal used for the heat sinks. Metals like copper perform much better than aluminium as a heat sink material. Ambient temperature. Reduce the ambient temperature to get more performance out of your heat sink. Like if opening a window reduces your ambient temperature, then your heat sink temperature is also reduced. Airflow. The faster the air moves over your heat sink, the better it performs. So just add one or two fans to your heat sink to improve its performance. Better thermal interface material. No two metal parts meet up perfectly. The thermal interface material fills the micro gaps for better heat transfer. Mounting. A good solid mount improves the contact between the heat sink and the chip and ensures better heat transfer. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you liked it. Share it. Dislike it if you didn't. Comment about it. And as for always, subscribe to SS Tech Studios for more videos like this.